So we're going to go over to City Engine now, and we want to create uh, procedurally some building facades. So we'll just zoom into this one building footprint. And all of the attributes that we collected or calculated are brought in uh, in the GIS data. So here we can see the object attributes uh, uh, in our geodatabase. And we're going to use those uh, in combination with this procedural rule, like the ones uh, Eric was showing. And we're just going to create typified facades uh, according to the land use type and obviously the size uh, or height of the building. We can override these, so we can add more floors, add more height, or we can use the attributes to drive the symbology. And so we'll just select the rest of the city polygons and uh, apply that rule, and it'll texture all the facades for us. And so very quickly, we have 3,000 facades textured. Same thing with trees. So we have a point, we have a height, uh, we have a crown width. We can generate procedurally uh, uh, tree polygons that are scaled appropriately. And again, all of the information that we collected uh, is in the data. So it's driving the symbology and is maintained. So back to ArcBlobe, we're going to put things together here. So we're going to replace these mass models with our textured uh, 3D buildings. We're going to add in our trees with some analytic uh, geometry, so realistic tree heights and crown widths. And that's great. And so we quickly put together a cityscape in very little time. But in many cases, you have some hero buildings or, uh, or more complicated geometry you want to represent in your city. 